Okay, in 10 hours, I'm going to be speaking to Truth Be Told. So I'm going to play this video now, and it will start. Sorry, having some kind of technical problem. So, here's an attempt to bury the hatchet, since uh, he made a second video um, offering to speak to me on the phone. So, we're planning on doing that. But um, I want to address some things before we actually get on the phone so we uh, know where each other's coming from, okay? <clears throat> Truth be told, uh, made a video about 10 things that he saw wrong with orthodoxy or was concerned about. Um, Orthodoxy, and uh, <clears throat> before I watched it, I said, you know, I find things, um, you know, that I, I have issues with, such as um, monasteries running roughshod over um, certain jurisdictions, and uh, I actually took a lot of pity on. Um truth be told and uh, felt a kinship towards him when he I heard about his uh, irritation with this um, the direction it would eventually go in would um, I don't want to say cause us to have an animosity between each other but um, cause us to be at odds. Now hopefully in 10 hours when we have that phone call um, we'll be uh, friends like good uh, Eastern Orthodox brothers. That's the flag of Chicago. Um, it's one of the most famous flags. It's actually the most famous city flag um, in the United States. It's uh, well, uh, one of the stripes of blue stands for the canal, the other stands for the Chicago River, or one of them stands for all the rivers, and the other stands for the Mississippi. And then the stars stand for um, three different capitals of Illinois and the fourth star for Chicago. Now, okay, this is a video of me that he's going over. So it's not as if he can ask me a question. This um, flag at the back, that's the flag of Chicago. Okay, this is me. And then he's playing it as if he his voice as if he's interviewing me. That's kind of a cheap shot. I'm gonna let that one slide. Um, I want to get down to brass tacks. I don't really care about um, attacking each other because we're both Eastern Orthodox Christians. Now keep in mind, so far in the video, uh, this was in response to truth be told. Um, but. Um, made a few videos about how he was struggling with certain things in orthodoxy yet the title of the video is slanderous lies of yusuf Reyes. so let's get to this it as if he his voice as if he's interviewing me now keep in mind so far in the video um i'm going over how i tried to help him after he um made a few videos about how he was struggling with certain things in orthodoxy yet the title of the video is slanderous lies of the use of freya so let's get to this he probably thinks this is some satanic thing it's the flag of chicago because uh, and this was in response to truth be told um but um i, I don't like diagnosing people but um after speaking with multiple 
Yeah, it's gonna stop here. What? I didn't say anything. I just said I don't like diagnosing people. But after talking to two people, and then he stopped. So. You should diagnose people if you're not a licensed psychologist or psychiatrist. You should not diagnose people, especially people that you never sat down with for an hour in your entire life. You mean like what you do? You mean exactly what you do? Condemning people as heretics and Illuminati and Satan worshippers and uh, delusional? So, I... I like the Satanic Bible. It's actually not a book of scripture. It's a satirical book. I got a kick out of it because it's against the liberal hippies. And for this, you're telling all the Orthodox people who will listen to you to never speak to me. Have you ever heard the East North, the, the uh, Satanic Bible? And anyways, how would you deal with uh, modern Satanists if you don't know what they believe? If you read the Tao Te Ching or the uh, Buddhist scriptures, I've read books by uh, Ann Coulter, Michelle Malkin, uh, Hillary Clinton, Barack Obama. And uh, does that make me part of any of their cults? But it does seem like you diagnose people. But I want to get past that shouldn't do what you do as you say not as you do okay i got it so people should not diagnose others if they're not licensed to do so the bull eastern orthodox christians i've been eastern orthodox for over 10 years now um and people ranging from lifetime long orthodox to uh people who been converts for only a year, uh, as well as various jurisdictions of the Eastern Orthodox Church, even the most fundamentalist schismatic groups, will have nothing to do with um, the uh, man who calls himself the truth be told. No. Let me stop right there, and I know that because I've talked to the bishops of their bishops and metropolitans from uh, these various jurisdictions. And I'm not going to drop names or anything, so I'm going to skip this part. Not even Roak will accept him. But let me skip forward. It was forward. made as a warning to people out there because he's got so many likes. In fact, look how many... I wonder if they're all his. No. Sorry about that, truth be told. I wanted to skip that. I don't, I don't like the fact that I included that. Okay, let me just say her real quick. Give me the names of these jurisdictions and the people that you spoke to. I'm assuming I just you're did. Lying, I'm assuming you're telling the truth. And, uh, of course, slander is a serious sin. So if you have spoken to anyone, give me their names, cite your sources. And it's just, I just did. not true. I'm in regular correspondence with numerous Orthodox. Slander is a serious sin. You mean like um, attacking St. Constantine, attacking various saints attacking wonder workers um like slander like that do you mean um let me see if i can uh is this truth be told oh no that's not truth be told um truth be told okay let's see um, hmm. Slander is a terrible sin, isn't it? Um, wow, there's a lot of holy men on here that get, that you attack, isn't there? Didn't you go after St. Constantine? The guy who ended the persecution of the Christians? Oh, wait. There he is. Why is Constantine a saint? Hmm.
the letter that incriminated Metropolitus Pavlos. Huh. So you're against slander, right? But yet... What's going on with all these guys? Wonder workers and saints and defenders of the faith. <sighs> Kinda looks bad. These people so I don't know what you're talking about. With Orthodox people or with Orthodox communions? Uh, with authority? No, somebody born into a Greek family can be regularly in contact with Orthodox Christians. Doesn't mean they've ever set foot in a parish before or taken the Eucharist. Let's skip forward for a little this, bit. This Hold is, on. Not true. Pete, if there are Orthodox people out there who are unhappy with me, I would say it's because I've exposed them. I don't I don't follow the cult and corrupt model of Wait, you just said you expose um bad Orthodox Christians. So that is slander, right? Preserving walls and cover ups and lies and sweeping things under the rug. I follow the Let me skip forward. You mean like denying the Didache? Hold on. Model of accountability, justice, fairness, due process, and exposure. You mean like denying the Didache? One more time, one more time. And cover ups and lies and sweep it's just, it's just simply not true. If, people, if there are Orthodox people out there who are unhappy with me, I would say it's because I've exposed them. I don't, I don't follow the cult and corrupt model of preserving wolves and cover-ups and lies and sweeping things under the rug. I follow the biblical model of accountability, justice, fairness, due process, and exposure. You mean like denying the Didache? Silence. Look how much silence. Honestly, like denying the Didache. Speechless. He's absolutely. I'll let that one simmer. I'll let that one simmer. Like I said. That's, that's their problem. Just... Yeah, that's everybody else's problem. You can come up with all these wild accusations, and when people say, look, there's a simple explanation. You call him a heretic and say, well, there's no answer and that, you know, you, you won't be convinced unless, you know, given um, surefire proof. Again, the series that I made for you um, cites sources and everything. And you just said, well, I don't care. called a potster or somebody that just likes to start drama. 